I am not excited about this color, but let's just go for it. Usually the lighter shades don't really compliment me, but we don't want to judge too quickly, right? So I will just get this on and then we can judge it afterwards. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel to another swatch video. For those of you who are new here, my name is Shemaine and I do lipstick swatches. So today's video, I will be swatching another liquid lipstick, a matte liquid lipstick. So my latest purchase is from Essence. You guys know how much I love Essence makeup if you've been watching my channel for a while. But it is the Essence Stay 8 Hour Matte Liquid lipstick these are on Ulta for four dollars and 99 cents uh, I think they're still on the affordable side that's the reason why I still purchase essence makeup is because they are more of an affordable brand that we can still kind of budget for despite the times that we're in so I just want to quickly read about these from Ulta's website the highly pigmented liquid texture dries to a super matte finish and is proven to last eight hours. These are also paraben free, acetone free, and alcohol free. There are actually nine shades that come in the set and I purchased all nine of them and it literally goes from one through nine. So that's how I will be swatching these lipsticks today. And let's start with shade number one. This one is called Hello Sunrise. Okay, so this is what the doe foot applicator looks like. Um, like a thinner paddle shape. I am not excited about this color, but let's just go for it. Usually the lighter shades don't really compliment me, but we don't want to judge too quickly, right? So. I will just get this on and then we can judge it afterwards. I would say it's pretty similar, spot on. I just don't think the color complements my skin tone very much. Shade number two is called Duck Face. Shade number three is called Down to Earth. But let's talk about this color, shall we? Uh, we're going into fall and winter, so it's really not like, you know, fall, winter appropriate. At the end of the day, wear what you like, but it's more of a fun, fresh spring color that I am totally digging right now. So, so far, yeah, this one is a thumbs up for me. Next up, we've got shade number four, and this is called Mad About You. Next shade up is shade number five called Date Proof. So as you can see, we're starting to move into the deep berry tones, the purples and the berries. So I'm excited to get into that section of the lip swatches. So this one is Date Proof. Next we have shade number six to be fair. It might just be me, but I think the way this color swatched is inconsistent. Uh, I think it's a lot darker here than it is on my lips and the two 
it's also a little bit darker uh let me know in the comments because i want to know if it's just me or um if it's just the light in here but to me something doesn't seem right and it's not fair that i'm not getting the color that's displayed on this tube so let me know in the comments guys seventh shade up is called let's chill We're at shade number eight, and shade number eight is called I Dare You. And this looks, mm, I would say red, clearly from the packaging, so. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited to swatch this red shade. It looks like a beautiful, blue base red. This lipstick is sexy. Mm. Wow. Wow. And you know what I like? That it makes my teeth look whiter unfortunately not all red lipsticks were made equal but if you find a red lipstick that just makes your teeth pop you have won my dear friend this lipstick is everything this lipstick is sexy this lipstick is a statement lip nothing else to say My lips are on fire right now. Not because I just took off that red lipstick. Well, maybe that's why too. So lastly, but not leastly, we have shade number nine and this one is called Bite Me If You Can. Really? Is that right? Well, we're just gonna leave that there. So for a little recap of the Essence 8 hour or stay 8 hour matte uh, liquid lipsticks, great for the price. Like I said, I got these at Ulta, Ulta.com for $4.99. There are 9 shades that come in this set. So there are several shades available for you to pick, choose, and refuse. As far as the formula, the formula is a quick drying formula. And quick drying formulas, they typically last a very long time and that's why they make it quick dry and matte because you're looking for that longevity. The only thing is with quick drying formulas, it tends to seep into the inner, inner, inner lines of your lips uh, and kind of make your lips look wrinkly. Um, so if you suffer from dry lips already, but you still want to try these out, I would advise you to wear some sort of lip balm or lip mask underneath to prevent the lipstick from seeping or settling into the lines of their lips. Um, to be honest, it did that with all of these shades, but the lighter shades definitely showed a little more. The lines on my lips showed more with the lighter shades. Uh, you can tell with this one, see, that it does show the lines in my lips. I think if you exfoliate, you put your lip mask on or your lip balm and you put these on, you should be good for the rest of the day. And like I said, quick drying formulas are typically a long lasting formula. What I am gonna do is, I am gonna wear this uh, for the eight hours, the duration of eight hours, just to see how it performs. 
and I will do a check-in back with you guys later today. So right now it's 3.48 p.m. So, ooh, I have to stay up till 11. Golly. I might check in a little bit earlier than that. I don't think it has necessarily has to be a full eight hours, but we'll see. It depends on how I feel um, at the end of the night, but I will definitely check in with you guys after I've had dinner and after I've had, you know, something to drink. So, um, you know, just to kind of imitate what a typical day would look like for many of us. As far as the doe foot applicator, I found it to be a little stiff and it was hard to really maneuver the contours of my lip because it wasn't as flexible as I wanted to. However, the doe foot applicator does hold a lot of product. So I found that I didn't have to go back in the tube to get more product because it covered both my lips with no problem. These are also very transfer proof. Uh, it's hard to get these off my lips are on fire because of you know the swatches and everything but it's really hard to get these off it's a quick drying formula and because it's hard to come off that's a good indication that it's gonna last a very long time the only thing I'm concerned about is that sometimes quick drying formulas tend to get crumbly so I'm gonna see how it actually performs uh, for the rest of the evening and then I'll let you guys know about that but in my experience yeah, it tends to get a little bit crumbly um, if you do not put like a gloss on top or uh, a lip balm or something just to keep it a little bit more moisturized because they tend to get um, a little bit more uncomfortable throughout the day. Like right now it's fine, but as we progress throughout the day, that's going to be the real challenge to see how it actually performs. And to show you that this is transfer proof. There, nothing on my hand. I can also have a drink of my tea here. And nothing. Absolutely nothing. Hey guys, I am just here doing a check-in on the Essence Stay 8 Hour Matte Liquid Lipstick. So this is the last shade that I actually put on for swatching. This is this this is shade number nine. Bite me if you can. And it's been what time is it? No, it's been like seven hours, six seven hours. And this is what the lipstick looks like right now. As you can see, my lips are still stained. Even my hands are still stained from all the swatches <laughs> that I did. Um, the video but yeah this is what it looks like now I thought that this was gonna crumble throughout the day but it did not crumble and I did not apply anything this is what it looks like after so many hours of wearing it eating and drinking the first part that actually started to disappear most naturally was the inner waterline of the lips um, as you can see, the outside of my lips or the perimeter is pretty much still intact. It's just the inside, but there's still a nice little stain there. I ate some greasy food as well just to see what it would look like. I had, it was a chip made with olive oil and um, the greasiness was still on there. So uh, that made it kind of run a little bit because it's oil and oil naturally removes lipsticks. But surprisingly, it's still a nice stain that, that's going on here. The color still looks good. It's not as full and pigmented as before, but you can clearly tell that I still have lipstick on. So this is good news, guys. Very good news that this liquid lipstick is actually very long lasting and you could be sure that you'll get your money's worth from this but anyways that was my review of the essence stay eight hour matte lipstick 
And if you guys like this video, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more lipstick swatch videos like this from me. It really does help me to grow my channel and to continue to provide great lipstick swatch content for you guys. So I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or evening or whatever time you're watching this video. And I will see you in the next lipstick swatch video. Bye.